Home play. Floor Temple, Sphere 1, Week 4. Week 4. Review at home play. Ready, okay. go. Ready, go. What we did this week <laughs> is uh, we first we shared. Um, yeah, here, so I can face everyone. Thank you. We shared, uh, everyone shared something that was new to them, as we've been doing for the last couple weeks, which is really cool. I like the way that we can, like, share something and then build off of it. So each person is a teacher and a student, and that really helps, like, the whole group grow at a faster rate, and I really like that, that way of learning. Um, after that, um, I showed you guys, like, some of the cool, magical style moves that, um, that I've learned um, over um, the years that aren't actually isolations, um, that are instead just cool, finically, you know, floaty moves. Uh, there was the float up to the hand, there was the magic thumb, there was, which, oh, actually, which was Sellers' things that he shared is really cool. In fact, uh, why don't you show Sellers? Oh, yeah. And that's using the magic thumb of Sellers. Whoa. <laughs> now, uh, the other thing is the magic string. The magic string is fun. Mine, use your Jedi Force power when you're calling. Use your magic string. Use your magic scissors to make it flow. Whatever it is that adds to whatever you're doing to give it that extra animated, uh, alive storytelling feel. Uh, and uh, after that, we learned some arm rolls, which we spent a good amount of time on. Arm rolls take a little bit of time to learn. And everybody was starting to get the hang of it. And when you're learning your arm rolls, what you want to do is we discovered that you start just a little bit below your shoulder is the easiest. And if you lift up your arm while you're doing it, it gives you that extra boost to go off the elbow. And if you have your, your hand waiting right here, then these fingers can kind of catch it like a cage. And they're ready to catch it. And you can go back and forth, practice it with both arms. And, um, and also practice it the opposite way. The opposite way is instead of letting it fall off the elbow and catching it, you're throwing it up to the elbow, rolling it, and catching it on the other hand. With this, you want to make sure that the trajectory of your throw is perfectly parallel with the line of your arm. So throw it right along that line. Another way to do it um, is Barry found out that if you just keep that point of contact and put it there, then you can just kind of slide your arm. And this makes for it even easier because you don't have to throw it at all. And it creates, uh, it, it goes into isolating it much um, easier as well. So we can learn how to isolate it that way. Um, oh, oh, and I forgot earlier, we learned the Jedi Force Push. The Jedi Force Push is Start like this, both hands touching on the opposite side of the sphere along its circumference. And you're going to push this way with this hand as you kind of pull with this hand. Use the, the G-force to bring it right back to that same spot. Um, you can do it with your hands and keep it pointed like that, or you can create a flat hand so that it looks more like a force push, like so. You can go both ways, and the easy version is up and down. You just flatten your hands and then pull them both up. Flatten and up. And it's basically this move, which we learned the first class, except that this hand is mimicking it to give it that nice magic feel. So you can go up and down, you can go side to side, and, um, and that's really fun to play with. Sellers had a cool suggestion. You can do your enigma and just do it in that way. And that creates a, you know, a, a nice feel to it. Um, do, the, that, do the hand flip for the body roll. Oh, right. Um, Sellers also had another tip, uh, which was in order to go into this body roll, which we learned last week, which um, we're going to go over that again next week. So 
uh, see if you can um, play with your two body rolls a little bit this week. And uh, anybody who missed that class, if you come to the park on Saturday, I will help you with those body rolls so you can catch up. Um, Seller's tip was, instead of just starting here and going straight into the body roll, start with a hand flip. It already has this nice motion. And then you can go into the body roll. So you use the kinetic energy to send it right around. Um, if you get good at this, you can also do it the opposite way. So you can go around and then use it to come back, use it to come back, use it to come back, and keep the nice continuous motion. Besides that, we did, we did a fun group sphere machine, which is cool. Uh, 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 if you get a chance to play with a friend, just play with different combinations of moves you can do together. Uh, because like group sphere play and body roll combinations is a whole lot of fun, and we're going to get more into that in the weeks to come. Uh, so, home yeah. play? Home play. Oh, right. Okay, so this week for home play, I want everybody to come up with something new, but there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit of a, a, a different twist to it. What I want you to do is instead of coming up with a move where you're rolling the sphere on your body in some way, I want you to come up with something cool where you're rolling the sphere on something else. It can be like a hat or a staff or a table or your friend or whatever. Just come up with something pleasing using the sphere and using your environment. This is something that I've had like so much fun with, with a lot of props, is on the days where I'm like, oh yeah, and I just start playing with my environment with the prop and seeing what it does with different things and how I can, you know, use them to do something that looks cool. So use your environment in some way creatively with the sphere. That's your, that's your uh, mission for this week. Um, this message will self-destruct in 10 seconds. <laughs> Could you do extra remix home play? Remix home... Okay, so, remix home play is take something that somebody else brought to class as new and improve it in some way, or change Ooh. it in some way. Ooh, I like that. I like that. <laughs>